Welcome to another RV Living Quick Tip. Today we want to tell you about National Parks reservations. That's right, things have changed a little bit since COVID, and if you don't have a reservation for your National Park visit, they may not let you in. Yeah, I was at a uh, local gas station the other day, and the guy on the opposite pump was, was filling up, and he says, hey, do you need to have a reservation to go into the park? And I said, yep. He said, really? I said, yeah, we've got one. He says, we drove all this way and didn't know, and we're just outside of Yosemite. You don't want to drive all the mm -hmm. way to the National Park and then wait in sometimes an hour, two hour um, long line to get into the park just to get up there to have them turn you around because you didn't have your reservation. That's right. And we thought more people were aware of this since we are at the end of the 2021 season. But hopefully this will let you guys know if you're headed to one of these parks that you need to go online and get a pass first. The parks requiring advanced reservations are Yosemite, Rocky Mountain National Park, the park in Hawaii, Haleak Haleakala <laughs> National Park, that one, Acadia Glacier, and Zion was requiring some advanced passes for their shuttles but they've discontinued that they're not requiring them at this time so if you want all the details all the links i made a blog post for you with all the details because each park has their own rules and their own requirements for passes and it got a little confusion i thought it would be easier if i just did a blog post and you guys could click from there and go where you needed to go Stacey meant to say confusing <laughs> what did I say? Um, confusion <laughs> um, i am confusion but it it is it can be confusing so Take a look at the uh, the blog. Make sure you go to the website if you're unsure, even after reading the blog. There's links there that will take you there. But read through all the, the information on not only the reservation system and what's going on with COVID yeah. inside our national parks. Things and that's, are changing. And that's the reason for the passes. They are limiting the amount of vehicles coming into each of these parks just to kind of give you a little more buffer so you're not all over each other. Although the requirements haven't been published yet for 2022, as soon as the national parks start putting all the info out, I will start updating the blog and I will push it out to you on our social media and in our newsletter so you guys stay up to date if you're planning a trip for next year. That's it for this quick tip. We hope you're enjoying this new segment we're publishing out every time we get a chance. I will put the link to our playlist so you can catch all our quick tips down below. If you just found our quick tips, let us know if there's a topic that you would want us to cover and we'll see how we can squeeze it in to our already long list of topics that we, <laughs> we, we want to bring to you. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And don't forget, you can find us on our website, todayissomeday.net, as well as Instagram, Our Village, and Facebook. Hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching and maybe one day we'll see you on, on the road. road. We gotta be